Hi everyone, this is Lorinda Buckingham here and I'm so excited that you joined in. Today is your Monday motivation for mothers and I just want to give you guys a couple of tips on how you can continue to just be the best mother you can be. But first of all, I want to start off by saying you are a good mother mother regardless of what anybody else say anything is going on sometimes we got to encourage each other give that pep talk and let each other know you are a good mother you are doing the best job that you can do and i always want you to know that no matter what's going on you're doing your best don't let the stress get to you don't try to let perfection get to you there's no rule book to this but the best thing that we could do as mothers is to give our children our hearts give them the, the best values we could possibly give them and so i want to encourage Encourage you each and every single week to be the best mom that you could be. So today I want to encourage you to give your children a sense of faith. So I want you to think about your faith and how you can share your faith with your children. Your children are your ministry. Your children are a very important part of your life. They're a very important part of your ministry. I've always said this before and I'll say it again and probably say it so many different times. I've said to my children, if I you know, win the world and I have everything at my feet, but if I sit here and I don't share with you one of the most important things, which is a relationship with God or how to have a relationship with him in prayer, then I feel as though I didn't, I shortchanged you guys on some key values because I know that prayer and faith has been one of the most valuable tools that I've been able to use for my life, for my marriage, for my business, for different things, because my life has not been perfect. I've had a lot of ups and I've had a lot of downs. And I'm pretty sure you guys out there can really agree with that and understand with that because we all go through things. But through prayer and faith, I've been able to overcome a lot of different obstacles. So one of the things that we can do as mothers is share our faith with our daughters, our sons, share our faith with our children, share our faith with those that we consider daughters and sons who may not even be biologically related to us. Just because someone is not biologically related does not mean that they're not our sons and our daughters. Many people have blended families. Many people have adopted children. That's still our baby. Those are still our kids. Those are our bonus kids. Those are the kids that we are entrusted to take care of. So I want to encourage you this week to think about how can you share your faith with your children? Can you share your faith through a Bible story? Can you share your faith through a testimony? Can you share your faith with them through something that he's done, a testimonial? It doesn't always have to be perfect and, you know, the perfect setting. Sometimes it may just be you going up to them and having a conversation with them in the bathroom or right, while they're getting there, doing their hair or brushing their teeth or doing certain things, having a bath or whatever that may be. How can you share that with them this week? How can you give them something that is so important to you, which is your relationship with God, your faith, your values to them? And trust me, when they get older, they're going to appreciate everything you've done. I know sometimes my kids, they'll laugh at me or they'll make jokes because they say, oh, mama, I saw this TikTok and this TikTok reminds me of you. And it's funny because every time they show me a TikTok and it's, it's funny, but it'll be a woman praying, a woman that is, you know, heavily into their faith. I said, well, at least you got it. <laughs> at least you got it. At least you understand what you need to understand. So I just want to encourage you guys to do what you can this week. Just share your faith. Just tell your kids, you know, that you love them and tell them that God loves them. And I just want to let you know that you are special. You are very important and that you are doing a good job every single day, no matter what goes on. Don't let anybody undermine what it is that you have going on in your home. Don't let anybody ever get you to second guess. Because I know sometimes as mothers, we are so hard on ourselves. That's why I have this special segment for us so that way we're not as hard on ourselves and we give ourselves space and grace to be human beings and to be the best moms that we can be. But anyway, I just want to say you guys are doing a great job. I just want to drop that nugget in here to give you a little bit of motivation, give you a pep talk this Monday so you can know what you need to do this week and take action on giving your kids your faith, your values, and give them something this week to think about, whether it's a story, a testimonial, a scripture, whatever that may be for you. So again, until we meet again on next week for Monday Motivation for Mothers, here's to your freedom, your balance, and your faith for success. All right, take care. Bye-bye.